Hello, everybody, and welcome into another edition of Inside Pitch here at the St. Louis Post Dispatch. I'm Ben Fredrickson, alongside Jeff Gordon. Gordo, we're having a hard time to find things to be uh, to be grumpy about with these Cardinals. They're 20 and 10. They got the best record in baseball. They've won 10 of their last 11 heading into Wednesday's game, heading into Thursday's game here. Four consecutive series wins. They also have five consecutive wins just outright, but maybe a little bit of a reality check headed into Wrigley Field for their first meeting of the season with the Cubs, who also happen to be red hot. Yeah, the Cubs are going great. The Cubs have figured out their pitching problems. They've gotten great starting pitching. Their bullpen, which is beat up, is now producing uh, very well. they got the middle of their batting order. Rizzo's pounding the ball. Baez is hitting. Uh, Contreras is hitting. Uh, you know, even Hayward's been hitting, so they, that's going to be it's going to be a heck of a, a challenge for the Cardinals. But the starting pitching's coming along. Uh, the top end of the bullpen, the, the better relief pitchers have been very good, and boy, the middle of that batting order, Ben, phew, for the Cardinals, you did not see that kind of production last year in the middle of the batting order. It's remarkable what Marcelo Zuna has looked like. Um, this is the guy I thought he could be, and we're see now seeing it. I feel better now for saying, hey, this guy is going to be going to be more productive than Christian Yelich. I, I felt like it, you know, I wanted to crawl into a cave last year <laughs> after saying that, and certainly Yelich has still been amazing. But now we're starting to see what Marcelo Zuna can do. And um, the big question now is, do the Cardinals go from looking like at Marcelo Zuna as a guy that there's no way they would pursue an extension with? Should they? consider it. I mean, here he is. You're seeing what it's like to have two elite bats in a lineup. This is what the kind of lineup that every team that goes deep into the postseason has these days. Should the Cardinals try to maybe, you know, ramp up extension talks with Marcel? Well, if he's open to it, sure. I mean, if you can extend, uh, you know, Miles, you can expend, uh, extend Matt, you can go get Marcel. Uh, you certainly have the money. It's, if he's open to it, if I'm him, I'm looking at the free agent marketplace the way Paul Goldschmidt did, said, you know, I'm happy here. I fit in with the crew. Uh, I think both sides should look at it. Now, yeah, you have a lot of outfielders, but this guy, when he's himself, the 2017 version, he's a different level. He's just a, th a threat and a presence in the middle of that batting order. If I'm the Cardinals, I want to see Marcel do it longer um, before I throw the money on the table. One thing to keep in mind there, Scott Boris, he tends to have a say in what his players agree to in extensions or hit free agency, and he is Marcelo Zuna's agent. Do not forget that as you talk and wonder about Marcelo Zuna extension land. Um, what are some of the things the Cardinals could do to be even better? It's hard to say. I mean, 10 teams have started 20 and 10 in their first 30, 10 Cardinals teams. So this is borderline history, um, you know, with a chance to make it an even better start. Um, what, what does that mean? We'll see. It's still a ton of season left to be played. But what jumps out to me is that they've done this despite some, some missing pieces here. they got to get Andrew Miller going. He's starting to maybe show some signs of progress. Matt Carpenter looks like Matt Carpenter of last season's start. Um, and then you've got some guys in the rotation, a Miles Michaelis, for example, who's really still searching for some of his command. They're playing very good baseball, and they haven't and they haven't had all cylinders firing yet. Yeah, top and bottom of the batting order can be better. You, certainly, the back end of the bullpen can be better. Maybe Carlos Martinez is part of that. Uh, Helsley's a heck of a prospect. Maybe he fills that void. And again, the bottom of the order since the end of March, Colton Wong is just a 200 hitter, 218. So they need to get him back as well. And how do, you, how do you wrestle with the outfield? Can you keep using Harrison Bader against right-handed pitching? So there are some things to complain about, despite the fact this team is, uh, well, I guess it's a team the Cardinal fans have been waiting for for a couple of years. Get Miller locked in, get Michaelis locked in, then you got a much more dangerous team. A perfect time to have it would be head into the Cubs. Yes. They're 16-12. and 12. They've got 14 wins in their last 20 games. They've won or split seven consecutive mm -hmm. series. That's going to be a tough test at Wrigley Field and a chance to really make a statement in the division. We'll have all the coverage at stltoday.com. For Jeff Gordon, I'm Ben Fredrickson. We'll talk to you next time.